stopping retail theft has been a major focus of police agencies and politicians nationwide, in part because of a steep rise in shoplifting in a handful of cities like New York and Los Angeles. So what's the trend here in Arizona? ABC 15 senior investigator Melissa Blasius went out to find out and she's testing out a potential store solution. Retail theft cost Arizona stores $1.5 billion last year, according to industry data. At the same time, the number of reported shoplifting crimes are down significantly in Arizona. Over the last four years, a 30% reduction statewide, according to DPS statistics. But it varies based on your city. Take a look here. In Phoenix, shoplifting reports are down 46%. It's down in Mesa and Chandler, but it's up slightly in Glendale and up even more in Gilbert and Scottsdale. A major bust of a shoplifting ring led detectives to this, a living room filled with beauty products. Organized retail theft has become big business. Phoenix police say this one group stole more than $500,000 in cosmetics from local stores. This rare case underscoring local retailers' concerns after they've seen what's been happening in several other major cities with smash and grab bandits and a steep rise in shoplifting. This is a massive problem in our community and we're determined to put an end to it. Maricopa County Attorney Rachel Mitchell has prioritized prosecuting organized retail theft cases. That's where people steal items from a store for reselling, filing charges in 281 cases last year, more than doubling the number from 2021. How much of the onus falls on the stores themselves to better watch their stores or have better security in general to try to catch these folks before they do something like this? Absolutely, stores should do things that are smart to protect their uh, their products. Looking for a smarter way. That's how we found Big K's in Buckeye, where... We don't have to worry about theft anymore, honestly. That's a bold statement from Nadal Abdel Karim, who gets about 500 customers a day. It's busy. And while they're ringing up all those paying customers, too many shoplifters were, and I emphasize, were sneaking by. He estimates the annual losses were $40,000. I would assume it's hard for you to keep track on all these aisles with all these cameras. Yes, and that's what it is, you know, because I'm so busy and, you know, I only have two eyes. So he turned to a company called Vision. It's impossible to have your eyes everywhere and see what's going on eight hours a day. So Vision uses artificial intelligence technology and could monitor a million cameras simultaneously with no breaks, sleep or holidays like humans need. Here's how it works. A small box connects to the store's existing camera system. We fed our algorithm with millions of examples. And the AI learned the moves a shoplifter makes, scanning all the video feeds and sending alerts to an app downloaded by store managers and owners. Client and a shopping floor concealing an item in a backpack, in a purse, in the trousers, in a jacket will trigger that alert in real time or tag removal when you want to remove an RFID tag. So we decided to put the system to the test. Here I am in the snack and candy aisle and I'm just going to take these little donuts and put them in my purse and see if the AI found me out. Vision noticed something suspicious on three camera angles. So how long after I stole this did this uh, pop up? Between 7 and 15 seconds right away and he even said is, is this theft happen? Well there are some false alarms. You were surprised how many people were stealing? Yes, especially regular customers. There's customers that would come every day and spend money and we were shocked. We were shocked with that result. Vision says that's the feedback from many store owners because AI has no bias. It just identifies movements. Nice uh, clients that are saying hi to everybody coming three, four, five times a week are actually shoplifting. And if you count, you know, uh, four visits a week, $20 stolen each time, you're facing a sudden drain of more than $4,000 a year. So what happens after the alert? A store manager can call police and easily share the video evidence, but Nadal's found success approaching the thieves with video in hand. Usually they apologize, 
That's what they do. And they give it back right away. In a month and a half, we already caught like between 10 to 15 people already. And all of them, they gave it back. Nadal says the vision system costs him about $200 a month, but it saves him a lot more. At the end of the day, this is my stuff. And if you're not going to pay for it, I want it back. And he's getting it back with the power of AI. I'm senior investigator Melissa Blasius, ABC 15, Arizona.